is not my Friday off. I'm actually on my way to work. I'm listening to my currently favorite song, current current favorite song, and it is Super Junior, which is a K-pop um, guy group, guy boy band. And the song's called It's You. I absolutely love this song. I found it on Pandora because I listen to K-pop on Pandora. I listen to um, To Anyone channel, and this song came up, and I've been like addicted to it ever since. Anyway, the reason why I'm vlogging is because, I don't know if you noticed, but I lightened my hair. So I toned it the other day. I think I filmed that. I toned it and my ombre lightened. Um, but I, it lightened a little bit and it was a little bit more ash, so it was less coppery. But this was so dark in comparison, I like didn't like it anymore. It was like, yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, I ended up posting a picture with me with curls, and everybody was like, oh, it looks so good. And I was like, no, but I personally don't like it. So I just changed it last night. I used um, a L'Oreal High Lift in UL61. I don't know what the color is. I think it's like ash, light ash brown or something. And it really didn't lighten that much, but it lightened enough that I'm happy, and I think I'm gonna do it again. Um, yeah, with the exact same color because I don't think it's light enough. I might hit it with like a an ash, like a lighter ash brown maybe because I know that if you take like ash blonde and you put it in like dark black hair, it helps prevent like that copper tinge and it lightens it but it doesn't turn it blonde. So I don't know. It's been like a big experiment. I've colored my hair like, I don't know, three times in the past two months which is absolutely nuts because like I'm the kind of person who will go like a whole year before I'll color my hair again and I just did it like three times in two months and I'm probably gonna do it a fourth time before the before I hit the third month because um, I just I, I don't know I, like my hair is ridiculously long like it is ridiculously long I don't think I've had my hair this long since I've been a little kid because typically by the time it gets to the point where I'm passing my the back bra strap, like the back bra strap, I'm usually trimming my hair. And I just trimmed my hair like two months ago and I chopped off like four inches. But for whatever reason, my hair is growing really fast. Um, I'm not really doing anything different other than... Uh, I'm kind of letting my hair air dry more and I am using oil in my hair and I have been, I was using, oh you know what it is, it was probably the L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. I switched to the L'Oreal Total Repair and ever since I switched to that my hair has been growing so fast. I bet you that's what it is. I totally bet you that's what it is. Um, right now I'm, I'm taking a break from it and I'm using Herbal Essences because I always, I always have to take a break because I, I used I use the Total Care like back to back. I use the pink one and then I use the red one. I don't remember what the difference is between the two. I think one is Ultra Shine and one's like super damaged color treated. I can't remember. Um, but I use it back to back and my, my scalp was getting oily again. So I always have to like switch brands for between bottles and then go back to it. But um, I just bought the John Frieda Brunette hair system. So like the shampoo conditioner. Um, to see if that'll help keep my color and keep me from turning brassy. So we'll see. I'm pretty excited about it. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll switch back to my L'Oreal um, Total Care. Because that super duper crazy worked. And um, people always ask me, like, how do I take care of my hair? And it's just like experiment. Like serious experiment. You're a little thief, Jojo. You're a little thief. Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday and um, we are getting ready to go to Disney World for my sister-in-law's birthday. She turns 29 today. So it's official. We're both, I'm going to be 29 this year. So it just reminds me that we're nearing the end of our age where we don't age anymore. Where we take on a number and we're that age for the rest of our lives. So anyway, uh, I have some noodles in my So Meaty cup. I don't watch the soup on E, but I love the statement So Meaty, so um, I got this as a gift. <laughs> it 
from Tina when we were first dating and it's amazing. And this is ramen noodles with egg. So I kind of made like an egg drop soup and then I cooked the ramen in it. And it's beef flavored ramen. So it's uh, a way to make ramen seem pretty interesting and tasty and more like Asian-like. And then um, also to add some protein so that I have some energy today because I definitely need the protein where we're going to be walking around a lot. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye. engaged two years ago two years and one month ago so exciting like literally two years and one month ago like from yeah no like two yeah, it was, it's April 5th today but it was actually like March 5th ah hey it was exactly two years and one month ago that we got engaged that's awesomeness it was on my birthday it was the day was it on your birthday on your birthday then the day after we went to Disney World and we got engaged at Magic Kingdom in front of Cinderella's castle yeah amazing Ooh, the theater they have an awesome candy store like right there <laughs> yeah. Of course, that's the one thing I remember is the so candy store sure of all places. Oh no, all those balloons are in the way of the castle. <laughs> Balloon guy. It's so cool. You think it's gonna fly away with the balloon? I know, right? <laughs> it looks awesome. I love how like detailed everything is. I don't remember it looking this nice. Oh look, they got all these cranes next to the uh, magic. I know, what are they doing? It's ruining the picture. Are we furbishing it? Yeah, seriously. Exactly. Oh, we just showed up in time for a show. Awesome. What? This is where, this, this right here, this circle right here, is right where Tino and I got engaged. Two years, one month ago. So happy. And it looks like there's a show. <laughs> Don't you think we ought to wait for Vicky? Oh, don't oh. Look, girls in princess dresses. Yay.
Tavern, and then I think Belle's house is like somewhere over here. So I guess we could do like story time with Belle. Um, yeah, Gaston's Tavern, Village Guts? No, what? Village Gifts. <laughs> and this one's Belle's Castle, or like the Beast Castle up there, and it's a restaurant. It's pretty cool. But so we got Jack and the Beanstalk stuff here. And the castle, this is the back side of the castle where the restaurant is and where you can um, dine with the prince and princess. How gorgeous is that? Oh, I love the castle. That's my favorite part. Castle, castle, what are they doing? Where'd they go? They're way back there. Look at how beautiful the castle is. Isn't it gorgeous? Princesses. It's like 8 p.m. at night and the castle looks amazing. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. And we're finally leaving. 
This place is open till frickin' midnight. But oh, we gotta go. What? What am I looking at? Oh, lit and balloon, lit, lit up balloons. It's craziness. Look at the castle. I've died and gone to Candy Heaven. This is the confectioner store right before you leave Magic Kingdom, or actually when you enter Magic Kingdom. This is like my favorite place in Magic Kingdom besides the castle because it's got like a just ton of candy and it's amazing. I'm finally getting something. Oh, those are cute. They look like Easter eggs. Hi, can I get a chocolate covered strawberry? Just one? Would you like a milk chocolate or white? Milk chocolate? <laughs> And then can I also get um, a block of the, the, the square of the chocolate turtle fudge? 